How you guys doing today? It's Sterling Smith from Loot and Booty Barbecue, and we're with Green Mountain Grills. We're here in Kansas City at the 40th annual American Royal World Series of Barbecue, and I'm gonna show you my competition style chicken legs. First thing I'm gonna do when I get this uh, chicken leg is I'm gonna pull all this skin back. Really what I'm looking for behind that skin is this tendon right here. I'm gonna go right under it just like that. A very shallow cut. I'm gonna cut it right towards the head of that leg. I'm gonna pull this skin back and I'm gonna take some scissors. And I'm gonna cut that tendon right out of there. So what I'm doing is exposing or taking this silver skin off this skin right here. And what that is going to do, it's gonna help the skin adhere to the meat. Even it up just like that. I'm gonna take the skin and come right back over it. So I'm gonna take my knife and get this excess fat. What we're gonna do is after we have all these chicken legs trimmed out perfectly, I'm gonna take some uh, Dale seasoning. So I'm gonna put about a tablespoon and a half and I'm gonna place some butter slices right in the bottom. And what this is gonna do is add another layer of flavor to this chicken. So as we're seasoning up this chicken, I'm gonna take this mixture, I'm gonna put it on the smoker to start melting. We're gonna season our chicken. Once this is all melted together, it's gonna go back on the GMG at 300. Now we're gonna season our chicken. So I'm gonna flip these over on the back side. So I'm gonna use my Gold Star Chicken Rub. I'm gonna do a little bit of light layer over that. Get a little bit of the meat under there. I'm gonna come across with a more sweeter rub, some a sugary rub. And this is my Loot and Booty Everything Rub. And when we flip them over, we're gonna do the same thing. So I like to season these about a half an hour or so before they go onto the grill. We're gonna pull it out. It's gonna look just like this. We're gonna take these chicken legs and place them just like this. I want that nice skin side up, big side, small side. Got some extra slices of butter. Put it right on top. Because as this is cooking, it's gonna melt all over the top. It's gonna keep the skin nice and soft. Gold star right on top. They're ready to go right on the grill. What we wanna do is cook this on an elevated rack at around 300 degrees for about 45 minutes to an hour. So what we're gonna do now is put together a uh, sauce for these chicken legs, put about, about a half of the uh, bottle in there. I'm gonna kick it up with some Southwest Sweet Heat Sauce as well. Now both these sauces are nice and thick, so what I'm gonna do for competition is take some apple juice. And really what I'm doing in this step is gonna thin out this sauce. So basically I'm just gonna stir this all together where it sticks to the spoon, but it's not all gloopy like that. After I get this to the consistency I'm looking for, what I'll do is take some aluminum foil. We're gonna put it over the top of it. And we're gonna put it right on the grill, but I want it warm when I dip the chicken into it. We're just gonna put this sauce right on the bottom rack and as that chicken cooks, it's gonna continue to heat up that sauce. Chicken's been on the uh, Green Mountain Grill for about 45, 50 minutes now. I'm gonna pull it off to the side just like that. And we're gonna put foil right over the top. And at this point, really what we're gonna do is steam the chicken. All that liquid and all the butter and everything we put in there, it's gonna start steaming. And I wanna keep this temperature right at 300 degrees. We're gonna put it right on the grill, top level. And that's gonna go for another 30 minutes or so. Check this chicken. Been on this top shelf here for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna test one of these. And I wanna make sure this thing is right around close to about 190. Once they're done and ready, I'm gonna take them out of the pan, just like that. We're gonna drip them off, and we're gonna put them right onto this pan right here, just like that. I want them to dry out a little bit. After I have them on the rack, what we're gonna do is put them back on the grill for about five minutes. So what it's gonna do is start drying out the bottom of those chicken legs. So at this point, these legs have been on for five minutes. I'm gonna take that leg, dunk it right into the sauce, put it right back onto the grate. I'm gonna take a spoon and just drizzle a little bit over those end pieces and let it just let it just drip down. Right after we've done this, we're gonna pick this whole thing up. We're gonna go directly back onto the grill and that sauce is gonna set in nicely for about 10 minutes. They've been sitting here nice. We're gonna put them on this plate. Like these are competition style Green Mountain Grill chicken legs. 